Hello, you're welcome to this lesson. In this video, you are going to solve this question I have on the screen. The question says you should use Thevenin's theorem to find the current in the 10 ohms resistor, which is this 10 ohms that I have circled with the yellow color. Okay, so let's look at how we are going to solve this question. So to solve this question, the first thing I'll do is to find the Thevenin's resistance. Okay, then after doing this, I'll find Thevenin's voltage. Then we draw Thevenin's equivalent circuit, then we find the current flowing through the 10 ohms resistor. So let's go ahead and do this. Okay, so I'll first of all start by solving for Thevenin's resistance. Okay, so I will redraw the circuit, which will give me this circuit that I have now. And then when I redraw the circuit, I will short circuit the voltage source. So you see that we don't have any voltage source here. Okay. And then I will open circuit where the resistor was, okay, where I have written my RT. So what will happen is that we will have to find the total resistance of what the circuit now. Okay, so if you look at this circuit, you will see that I have uh, changed how the connections were initially, right? So when you look at uh, the first circuit, which is the original circuit, and then the one I have redone, you see that I have my 50 ohms here okay which is this 50 ohms so i do it this way so that uh, the calculations will be easy for us okay because when i when i draw it this way you'll be able to see the circuit clearly so let's take note of this so what will happen is that if i name this node here as node a okay and then i name here to as node b you see that it will be the same as me naming here as a okay and then me name here as B. So the circuit is, is still the same, okay? It hasn't changed. Okay, so let's go what you're going to do next. So if you look at this circuit uh, closely, you see that we have a delta connection here, okay? You see that you have a delta connection here. Okay, so first we will to solve this question, we will have to change this delta connection to a star connection, okay? So let's look at how you are going to do this. So you're going to have something like this. Okay. And then you're going to have one resistor here. I will change the delta to a star connection. Okay. So that we can find the resistance there. So I can use to find the total resistance. So I name this as A. I name here as B. And then I will name here as C. So all you have to do is to find the resistance in those uh, resistors, okay? So let's look at how you are going to do this. So for the A, I will name it as RA, okay? So to find RA, that will be equal to the product of this 50 and then this 30, okay? Divided by the sum of all the resistance in the delta connection so let's look at that okay so you are going to have ra to be equal to 50 plus 30 okay. sorry 50 times 30 okay divided by 50 plus 30 plus 10 okay so let's let's simplify this and see what you are going to get okay so when I simplify this, I'm going to get 50 on 3, okay? This will give me 50 on 3 ohms. So that will be for RA. So let's solve for RB. Okay, so for RB, we are going to have 50 times 10, okay? Divided by 50 plus 30 plus 10, okay? So let's see what you are going to get for this one too. For this one too, we will get 50 on 9 ohms and then for RC you are going to have 30 times 10 divided by 50 plus 30 plus 10 okay plus 10 okay this will give us 10 over 3 ohms okay so now we can change the connection from delta to star okay so let's look at that so 
I will withdraw the circuit. Okay, let me withdraw the circuit quickly. So I have this resistor here. Okay, and then so now what will happen is that I will change the star to delta connection. Okay, so you are going to have something like this. You have something like this here, right? And then I have another one here. So let me clean. This is not really nice. Let me redraw it again. Okay, so you are going to have the RE here. Okay, and then okay, and then this will be uh, RB. Okay, let's manage this drawing, and then this will be our RC. Okay, and then. The circuit continues okay so let's bring the other resistor okay so this resistor to you see which is the 50 ohms okay so i have the 50 ohms here and then we have 10 ohms here okay and then we're going to have re which is 50 on 3 ohms here and then rb which is 50 on 9 ohms here okay and then we have 10 on 3 ohms here okay so now you can easily find our rt okay so let's go ahead and then do that okay so to find rt okay you can see that this 10 on 3 ohms here, okay, will be in series with this 50 ohms, okay. So we can add the two, okay. We can add the two. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to have 50 plus 10 on 3, okay, and then this will give us 160 on 3. So let's write this down 160 on 3, okay. So let's look at what will happen. So you will see that this 10 ohms here okay will also be in series with this 50 on 3 ohms here right so let's um, add those two also so for that one you're going to have 10 plus 50 on 3 okay and then this will give us 10 plus 50 on 3 this will give us 80 on 3 okay all right so at the end these two summed resistance okay are going to be in parallel with each other okay they are going to be in parallel so let's find the equivalent resistance for those two so i'm going to have 160 over 3 okay times 80 on 3 okay all this divided by all this divided by 160 on 3 okay plus 80 on 3 okay so let's simplify this and see what you are going to get i'm going to have 160 on 3 okay times 80 on 3 divided by i'm punching everything at once okay divided by 160 on 3 plus 80 on 3 okay so this will give us a value of 160 on 9 ohms okay this is what you are this is what you are going to get and this 160 on 9 ohms okay will be in series with this 50 on 9 okay so you are going to add the 50 on 9 to the 160 on 9 so you are going to have rth okay to be equal to 160 on 9 plus 50 on 9 okay so this will be equal to let's look at that so 160 on 9 plus 50 on 9 that gives us a value of 70 over 3 ohms so that will be the value of what out each so let me write this somewhere here okay so now that we have out each we can find the vth okay so let's look at how we are going to do this so for the vth okay let me guess use this circuit here to do that 
Okay, so I've taken out the resistor. Okay, I've taken away the resistor. Okay, so our VTH is here. Okay, I have positive and then negative here. Okay, so let's go what to happen here. So with this circuit now, okay, if a current is flowing from the voltage source, okay, you will see that because of this open circuit here, the current will not get to the resistors, okay, which means that current will not flow through this um, circuit. So what will happen is that the voltage at this uh, these terminals okay will be the same as the voltage from the voltage source okay so for that reason we can see that the vth okay will be equal to the voltage from the voltage source which is what 10 volts so we now have our vth and then we now have our our rth so you can now find the current flowing through the 10 ohms resistor so let's go ahead and then look at that so let me draw the Thevenin's equivalent circuit, okay? Okay, so for the Thevenin's equivalent circuit, let this be our RTH, okay? Let me draw this. We have our RTH here, okay, which is 70 on 3 ohms, okay, and then let's have our 10 ohms here, okay? Let's have our 10 ohms here then this should be the vth okay so the vth is 10 volts right so now let's find the current so for the current flowing through the um 10 ohms resistor okay which our name as i that will be equal to vth okay divided by 70 on 3 okay plus 10 okay so let's see what you are going to get so we have 70 on 3 plus 10 to be 100 on 3, okay? So 10 divided by 100 on 3, that gives us 3 over 10, okay? And this will be equal to 0 0.3 amperes. So this will be the current that will be flowing through the 10 ohms resistor. Thank you very much for watching this video.